I'm going to ask you right off the bat, Mark, because this is what everybody is asking over and over again. What about the second round of stimulus? This is the top news story of the day. Actually, let me give you both sides of the situation. The White House has come out and said, we are in favor of another round of stimulus. They're even advocating for a bigger payout. But the House of Representatives passed a second stimulus and sent it over to the Senate last month. It was calling for the exact same thing in stimulus payouts. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said the Senate will not take any action until sometime probably around July the 20th. He was quoted yesterday as saying any further efforts should focus around intently on three things, kids, jobs, and health care. So this is a developing story. Okay, but it does appear as if the conversations are going in the right direction to get some kind of second round of stimulus payment. I've got my fingers crossed. It does seem that there is a great push for this, that it would stimulate the economy. It would be the right thing to do. I'm certainly hopeful, and I know we probably all are. Okay, so the stimulus is the first asked question. The second asked question is, this is for you, Kevin. I have filed my taxes a couple of months ago, but still have not received a refund. Should I be concerned? I'm telling you, I'm getting Facebook messages and emails about this. Absolutely, I, I would definitely be concerned, Tanya. Let me just share something that I've actually helped a client with this week. And when you basically have exhausted your resource, you've called every number the IRS has, you've gone to irs.gov, where's my refund? And all it says is processing. I would go up the food chain and download the form 911, which is basically a request for taxpayer advocate service assistance. Get the form filled out and send and fax it in to the number that ties to the advocate office in the state of North Carolina. There are two, one in Charlotte and one in Greensboro. And believe it or not, they will get back with you in a couple of days and i would probably say also have the person uh, have their tax account and fill out a 2848 form power of attorney so they can also represent their client but the 911 form and yes it does exist will go up the food chain and maybe help get things rolling because a lot of people are suffering and needing that refund all right the 911 form that he is talking about is one that you don't have to have a tax preparer to help you with you can do that all on your own it is in the two wants to know section right now there is a web story up that's called stimulus and taxes and it's all about what we're doing right now it's right there for you all you have to do is click on that aside from that though there are just millions of tax returns just waiting Evidently, yes. And I think the, the shutdown, of course, a lot of people have filed online and then some people have filed by paper for whatever reason. And I think Mark talked last week, there was just several million pieces of mail that the IRS is trying to catch up on, uh, especially if they filed a paper return. It could take a long time getting that refund. Okay, uh, so someone else is asking, I filed my taxes a couple of uh, months ago, or I filed my taxes in 2018, but I still haven't gotten my stimulus check. Do you know how long it's going to take to get it? And so, Mark, I think that's a question for you. So always go, first of all, to irs.gov. And when you go to that website on the top right corner, it says, get my payment. Click on that, enter the information that's requested, that's how you track when your payment is going out. If it says it's already been deployed and it's been several weeks past that date, then you want to go to identitytheft.gov and report that you feel like that payment has been taken. But again, irs.gov is the best way to track your stimulus payment and when you should get it. Keep in mind, there's a lot of unopened mail at the IRS, so that could slow down your payment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you filed in 2019 or something of that nature, they may not have processed that in time for the stimulus. In fact, Mark, this person's saying, uh, okay, if I, if I need to file a tax extension this year, will I still be eligible for a stimulus payment? They don't have anything to do one with the other. Uh, Kevin, can you start this one? Yeah, they're really, I mean, basically it's going to take the latter of the two, the 18 or 19, if they're still trying to file a 19 uh, extension, then as long as the 18 information's in the system, they still should be eligible if they meet all the requirements. So the extension should not prevent them uh, from getting um, the stimulus payment if they're still eligible. And of course, the next question is, are we required to pay the stimulus money back down the road? No, it's not taxable. As mentioned, it is a um, advance payment of the recovery rebate credit. So it, it, is, it is not to be repaid only in the case of if a dead person received it. And for example, if a, 
husband and wife got $2,400, but the husband died before the $2,400 came in, then yes, that $1,200, for example, could very well need to go back to the IRS. All right, I've got a question here um, that talks about the timeline of checks going out and things of that nature. And I think we have a graphic that can also be used for that. As we look for that, Mark, I'm going to ask you the question and then we can kind of bring it up if we have it. Have certain people received stimulus payments before others for a specific reason? So the deployment of payments is not based on geography or last name. It's based on your income. It's not your total income, it's your adjusted gross income. So mm -hmm. if you're making, let's say $90,000, you want to take go down about 30%. That's about what most Americans pay in taxes. So your adjusted gross income after taxes are taken out is the amount that it determines your stimulus payment. An individual up to $75,000 in adjusted gross income will receive up to $1,200. Anything above that, then it starts to go down in increment levels. The <clears throat> same is true. It's double that for a married couple. And um, the deployment schedule, I looked at that today, we're right at the beginning of July. So they're now starting to move into those higher income earners that would earn less than $1,200, but they still will get something in stimulus. Mm -hmm. And of course, those that were on Social Security or disability or that kind of thing, they got it first before a lot of other people as well. Exactly. Okay. All right. Um, we are going to take a quick break, but we have the number here for you so that you can text your tax related questions, your stimulus related questions, 336-379-5775. And we'll be right back.